Uh, but anytime you develop new policies or new plans or new procedures, uh, you want to take some time to reevaluate. Well, the day we've been waiting for is almost here to finally be able to say it's football time in Tennessee. You can see on this live countdown to kickoff UT's home opener against Georgia State just now 11 days away and university officials are spending these remaining days updating fans about some game day changes. 10 News reporter Amelia Young is live on campus with some of those big changes that fans need to know about. Amelia. Well, we've been talking about it for months now. Alcohol coming to Neyland Stadium is the biggest change that fans will see this season, but you won't be seeing it during the first game. UT officials are busy working behind the scenes to make sure everything runs smoothly during its debut in September. It's an experience like no other, being surrounded by more than 102,000 fans inside Neyland Stadium. But one that requires a lot of moving parts to keep everyone safe. Anytime you develop new policies or new plans or new procedures, uh, you want to take some time to reevaluate. Beer is making its way into Neyland, but not until September 7th. Well, we wanted, we got the Alice Cooper concert under our belt. We wanted to see how things went there, adjust the plans accordingly. Roughly 3,000 people went through extensive training for the debut. We're not trying to rush into this thing. We're trying to get it done and done the right way, dotting I's and crossing T's. We look at this as a uh, uh, an enhancement for fan activity at the stadium. So, you know, we're, we're treating it as, a, as an upgrade. Officials hope alcohol sales will get more people inside the stadium and quicker. If you counted on riding an electric scooter to the game, you can go ahead and toss that idea. Our downtown folks are now used to it, but we've got people coming in from other cities, other towns. The two companies in Knoxville, Vio Ride and Spin will take up the scooters throughout the entire city on Friday night and bring them back Sunday morning. Unsafe use uh, coupled with the immense amount of traffic that we'll have around the stadium on game days. It's just a bad combination. And UT officials are encouraging all fans to ride, park, and walk on game days. You can find every bit of citywide parking information on our WBIR app. Back to you. Amelia, thank you. You can also see the ride sharing and scooter policy for football games. Check out Coach Pruitt, give new UT students and pep talks, and the full SEC 2019 schedule that is all online at WBIR.com or on the Asking on TV section of our new WBIR app.